Hello, this is understanding Elon Musk, my dog reacted on that. Uh, I then looked back at my uh, my video about fitness and uh, <laughs> I liked it, I must say. And uh, I have uh, much more to tell, uh, much more interesting stuff uh, to tell uh, about it. So uh, maybe do this uh, in an, uh, episode 2 about fitness. Uh, let's uh, start. Uh, let, let's start at the beginning. So, uh, uh, as you know, that uh, I would, uh, it was in the time that I was doing uh, the Millennium Time and uh, uh, my department, uh, the, the department of IT. They uh, was uh, mad on the, the owner and they run away. And there was nobody left. Yeah, nobody at IT left, and uh, the owner asked me to uh, take over the whole the internal. In the department and it means also the RMP software that was uh, running the company uh, had no uh, uh, support and no development anymore so I had to do that and I had to modernize the stuff for the Millennium Berg etc etc so at that time it was crazy you cannot imagine what how many hours I worked uh, I think uh, after two years uh, I had uh, I could take half a year off <laughs> uh, they gave me the money I got a server the same that was in the company uh, at home uh, so the, you can amount uh, you have an idea what kind of money I earned and uh, what that free time I put in it and they, they uh, I asked them to to, to give me a server that I can run shadow and I can just keep on developing at home if I wanted so that's a whole different story but uh, this story is about fitness so you can imagine if you're like uh, working crazy times uh, the one of the advantages of uh, fitness studios is they are they are normally busy after work uh, they, they open <laughs> normally uh, at five o'clock or something and uh, they continue until the late of the night so uh, advantage was uh, Happy uh, always time. So you have also the, the the in the midday they were open and also in the morning. So I have some people uh, you hear the stories of Arnold Schwarzenegger that they were training five or six o'clock and then they train until seven or eight. They go to work and then if they uh, they have a set double set all the day, they go evening back and they train again. So I had a time. So oh, let's do it in the morning. So I waited the video until the building was open. The owner came in. I, I greeted him and I did my uh, my cardio a little bit there. Uh, I walked there. <laughs> there was already cardio and a little bit more cardio. But uh, I just used the cardio five minutes or something, or maybe ten minutes, and then I uh, took the, the main the main muscle groups I trained. And after that, uh, I had a good training. I take a shower, go to work, end of the road, and uh, did my stuff there. And I always had two sets of uh, stuff. And uh, if I was uh, 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 done, I went back to the video studio and uh, trained there. Uh, at the end, I had a nice shake there, talked with people, walked back, uh, did my grocery, uh, and went home, eat, etc, etc. Uh, even I had a period that I could train during the, the crazy times. I could even uh, in the, in the, in the, uh, in the lunchtime <laughs> I went. Uh, uh, it was even so far that uh, the owner said, uh, I can uh, build a shower in the company and uh, you can take a shower here. But uh, the, the fitness studio had a sh showers, man and female, and they had an, uh, a mixed one with a sauna in it uh, so if you want to see uh, naked females you can go in the mixed one yeah that is was the netherlands at that time so i in the beginning uh, didn't do that was not interested in it but later because of the sauna and it's good for your muscles especially when you train heavy weight it was nicer and i of course uh, could see something nice <laughs> so and uh Yes, it, it, it was a, it was an, a, a nice time, uh, and, and I was really getting addicted to this uh, this sport. And uh, you have to imagine, uh, I did this fitness, uh, so I had was crazy fitness. I had crazy on work, crazy fitness, and I think, okay, you are home, you're tired, you want to sleep now. Then I started my online world games, and I uh, went until three o'clock in the morning, few hours of sleep, and I went to the sports studio again and worked and uh, did my shopping and uh, did training, and I got. So there were crazy, uh, I think two years, I only slept every day, two or three hours. I trained, uh, so I did physical stuff, I gamed, I enjoyed, and I did very serious work for building a uh, rebootable system, uh, software upgrades, integrated new operating systems, infrastructure of the company, recabling the, the whole building uh, with a team of en uh, external engineers. Uh, there were crazy, uh, crazy, uh, crazy times, and in two years we did a lot of things. But what, why did I go to ship? People will say, okay, we understand that you, you work hard and then you go home and maybe do some uh, videos. But why did you do all those 
fitness stuff. And uh, they saw me growing. They, oh, one of the female, uh, what she became later the CEO owner, she, she, she started to like me and said, hey, <laughs> uh, next, uh, she liked me in uh, shorts. And uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> she, she came uh, on to me uh, around that time. But it was nice. It was not serious. But we joked always around. But she said, uh, you're doing good, better than my husband. And uh, I had also colleagues that uh, were chain smokers and uh, they joined me uh, sometimes after work and uh, and we did some training and because they wanted to lose some uh, some weight. And there was somebody who had three heart attacks and we trained carefully and we could get them some uh, loss of weight and he felt it much better after half a year. Yeah, he continued, he could not play his uh, favorite uh, bowling. Uh, he liked to bowl, play bowling and uh, he could not do it because he was too thick. Uh, so I trained with him a uh, half a year and uh, he, he lost weight and uh, he could bowl again. And guess what? He found a girlfriend there and uh, he was very, very happy uh, married then. And uh, he said, uh, thank you for, for, for helping me uh, losing that weight and getting contact with people. And he was very nice. Still chain smoker, but okay. Why did I do this? So, so I was always uh, was programming stuff, stuff, stuff. And of course, after a while, I had a problem with my back and I had... Uh, uh, I wanted uh, already a little bit history of training, but at that time uh, I got this overload of 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 of, of, of like a, in, uh, in my brain like crazy uh, thinking. So I went home uh, and I was done with work, but my brain still had uh, was running at 120 percent of uh, uh, solving problems, configurations of servers, uh, how to tweak my kernel of uh, Linux. So there was still and I could not shut it off. Huh? Even if I looked at the movie, I still keep dreaming about it. So I had to do something very, uh, and I thought if I do like uh, my Zen, my, my Kung Fu, but I didn't do anymore, I could really empty my space and go in the Zen moment, relax and do the exercise. And after I was refreshed after uh, Kung Fu, I think, yeah, <laughs> I can do Kung Fu, but uh, no, not interested anymore because it was a little bit, uh, yeah, I stopped because of the re reason of it and I thought, okay. But at that time, to what I already uh, said in the previous video, I, I, I changed it with fitness. So I thought, hey, good brain, has a good needs a good body. And that was something, something I read in the, uh, in some, some magazines. So I thought, okay, let's build out my body. And uh, I knew already I don't want to be like uh, the guys uh, lifting at 200 kilos or like the, the bigger guys in the in the gorilla shirts. Uh, at the time they had this uh, this brand gorilla, like for the, for the bodybuilders. And uh, I thought, okay, uh, if I'm muscled and I can spot them, <laughs> I can uh, help them and they're happy with me that I'm strong enough, that would be on more than I want. So uh, my goal was to, 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 to get so strong that I could help them and I can lift some of the weights they could lift and that was my, that was my ultimate goal but uh, at the end I could do it but uh, but that's a different story so what I found out is was I was always busy thinking thinking and I thought okay let's do I have to get uh, silence in my brain so what I first did I did uh, the you have the elliptic machine you have the, the bike the, the home trainer so I went on that and I normally did always uh, I, because I was focused always on, on weight but I did also sometimes this rolling and, and we had a television in front of your your, your cardio machine and uh, you look uh, I catch up with uh, the stock market and all other things the news and I did uh, pedaling 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 so it already started with uh, relaxing I didn't think more about computers also some some ladies and uh, uh, walked by so, so distracted and some guys uh, I knew and after you join a, a fitness club for a year half year uh, you have always somebody that knows you sits next to you and you talk a little bit and you do your exercises and he helps you uh, but you do turns uh, uh, the exercise and uh, sometimes if you're with two uh, with the two guys you have a group of three you see another group and then you have six people and what you do is you take uh, this uh, piece of machines and then you change and you have already uh, a, a friendship there so I knew all the, after one, two years, I know that. And you have to imagine, I, I, I trained there almost from the, not from the start, but quickly from the start until I stopped. And that means I worked, I did almost fitness 10 years. Yeah, 
And at the end, what I already said, last two years I never paid. I didn't have to pay any uh, uh, money to the to the club. Uh, I did the whole automatization of the club, the computers, the the registry, uh, the internet, uh, the fitness computer computers that were connected. I uh, I helped in my free time, and we closed one day. I think the whole uh, fitness club, and we did all the cabling uh, together with a friend of mine, and we modernized the whole thing. And uh, the owner said, "Okay, you guys can train for free forever." So uh, I even get uh, the owner at home uh, and he helped his, with his computer to connect to the financial uh, software from the company, uh, from, from the fitness studio. I met his daughters, uh, they were too young, but they were nice and uh, I saw them sometimes at the fitness studio uh, with their friends and uh, like family. Uh, and also other people, uh, the, the scary big guys with tattoos, you said, oh my God. Yeah. After a while, you know them, they know you are serious, busy, and they see you every week. They start to talk a little bit, and they ask for weight, or you uh, ask for weight that they're using, and the first time it is, mm, and then uh, after a while, it's okay, and uh, they help even help you say, okay, uh, I need that weight you have, but uh, you see you're busy, let me spot you. So he spots me, and then uh, I give him the weight, and he said to me, hey, can you spot me? And then I spot him, and before you know it, you have... Uh, a new friend or somebody uh, who thinks, okay, this guy uh, uh, is not so bad as, as he looks. And then he goes with his friend and he says, oh, we'll meet this guy, he's a nice guy. And then you, you talk a little bit, because, but they are totally different uh, group. But still, they respect you, even if you're much smaller than them. But they, they think, okay, this guy is not uh, doing strange thing around. Uh, he's a little bit serious and he's often here. And even... Uh, these guys come to me and they say, okay, you do this exercise wrong, let me help us. And they show me exactly how to do. And if you want to have this group, they see, of course, your body, this and this is not correct. Do, do, do this exercise and we help you. And you get the best uh, advice. Uh, sometimes the advice is a little strange, but they, 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 they take you serious and it, it is a nice environment. And this is for a nerd, computer nerd with big glasses, short hair. Yeah, normal, those 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 guys look like a gorilla. Hair. They can they walk like this, have the most beautiful girlfriends, have a fitness studio, and they talk with a nerd. Wow, is that not an accomplice already? Yes, and just because you're serious, you're alone, you train, you help them, you, you take them serious, you don't know. Because you're busy, you have your Arnold Schwarzenegger book next to you, so they think, oh, kijk, this guy is uh, is doing as well, and uh, I look for the exercises, put it next to me, do the exercises. The owner knows you, so the trainers sometimes help me, they give me a drink free, that the people see it around it, that you are serious, and you get accepted in those bodybuild groups, and even semi-professional uh, bodybuilders, uh, I learn to know. So, this is, uh, was nice to, to have this experience, but... The motivation was that I needed to have rust in my mind. Because you can imagine if what I already said, if you compile servers and all those uh, programming and you have to have a system that's always rebooting. Uh, I had even the, the go to all contracts for, for web services and what is the best and what is the cheapest. Now, uh, responsibility, talk with uh, with logistic, uh, update the, the, the screens for uh, the RIP software. Uh, that was always a thing. And then you need sometimes to have to set it all aside, do something. For your body to have a nice drink and also the nice thing is you do your so you i'm busy thinking thinking even i walk to my to the fitness studio i'm still thinking about what do i do tomorrow but for me it was like i walk to the fitness studio end of the road that was a two minutes three minutes walk so i said and when i started there i said okay i have to finish my work tomorrow i did this and this i already noted uh, the, the, uh, i wrote it down in my book in my logbook uh, did i forget something no i did it uh, all good and then you think okay uh, did a, what did I do good, what did I do good, so you think, you build off your day when you walk to the video studio. So if I come into the video studio, I, I, I change my clothes I, uh, in, the, in, the, in the changing room, but work is gone, I see those weights, I see the people greeting me, go on my uh, cardio exercise, uh, look at the television, catch up with the news, because that was the easiest way to catch up the news, do my 10 minutes, 15 minutes training, then go uh, in that uh, lower area, I go uh, do some uh, machines, easy machines, and then I go to the back of the, 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 the fitness studio where the big guys are, where the, the serious equipment is, and I train there. And so often with some friends, or uh, the guys are there, recognize me, and I help them, and they help me, and I, I, I try to get my goals, uh, what I have. I'm not very serious, but I try to get an improvement at least every week or every month. I want to live more. 
After that done, you take a shower. Uh, normally, I took uh, the beginning. They took the shower, the normal where the men shower is. But later, I went uh, because those middle said, "Henry, Henry, you don't shower. Come up with us." And they go to. Uh, they took me to the to the sauna in the mixed. Uh, saw their girlfriends uh, a bit lesser clothes than ever. Uh, went together with them in the sauna and they said, "This is good. Uh, you, you sweat again." So uh, it is not only uh, uh, nice to, to do, of the day, but it is also good for your body. Take a cold shower after that. I don't hate cold, but that I showered. Then uh, switch my, uh, take my clothes uh, on. Uh, went to the bar, drink with some other people, sit there until it was around the nine o'clock, uh, and the people started to really come. Uh, that uh, I was uh, because I was so close, I could train before every other. Uh, for the most many people could go, and I. Packed my pack and went to the supermarket, buy, bought my food, went home, uh, thought uh, again if I went home I thought about my game, because that, uh, if I would go uh, open my door of my house, it was all about gaming, switch on my computers, two computers, two accounts, log in, uh, it was not World of Warcraft, but it was Earth and Beyond, it was a space opera game, a multi, uh, multiplayer game, played that until 12, 1 o'clock, so then you sleep. And I could sleep because I had my uh, my adventures in, in, in virtual space. Sometimes I look at a movie. Then I wake up. And the first thing I do is I, I shock wake up. I take a, sh a small sh uh, shower. Not, not very interesting. I eat something. Go to the gym. To the other side of the sand. Take my shake there. Train there. See often uh, because there's all the fun. I can the television. I can see the morning program. The morning news. Morning news is done. Now it's almost uh, uh, then time to go to work. I walk to work, work, and then sometimes I can do uh, after work or during the work, or sometimes I only skip the morning and that I only uh, train at the thing. And this gave me so much rest, so I could break. Uh, of course, before I did, I could break the time that I worked. I could split. I can make an end of that day, and I didn't. My brain didn't continue to work with problems that I have at work. Okay, there were days like a vacation sometimes that I didn't uh, do uh, sports, and then I already saw that this continuously thinking from work continued after work, and sometimes I needed it. Sometimes there was so a problem I needed to focus. Uh, I normally then stay longer until nine o'clock or maybe longer on work. Went home, went take my papers back uh, with some and that time with some tapes. When I was home, I uh, I went to my uh, to the living room. I, there was a very big server there, the same as my company. Put in the tapes, all the the, the work that I was doing on my work, uh, loaded in there. Took me normally half an hour. Uh, look at my reports. Did continue the work testing there. Uh, wrote my findings and then went to bed. The next morning, I took my book with the findings. Went to the server at my work and. Uh, uh, did there the changes I found, uh, or I knew uh, I was already a step further for the next day. So you can imagine that I worked sometimes almost 24 hours a day to solve these uh, emergency problems. Normally, uh, this department was uh, four or five people, and I took the whole department, everything uh, I did. Uh, the, the, there was no management. I uh, did. Uh, there was no management because there was one person. Who, who do you need to manage? <laughs> the person that write the software, uh, orders so, uh, the, the, the whole the whole the whole company internal IT was running on me. Uh, we, of course, later I got somebody who did. Uh, uh, if there was a computer broken, somebody has to repair it inside. Uh, so I. Uh, we got, I got an extra employee. Then I got somebody employee that did the internet, the web, uh, uh, the web based, uh, because there were more questions that, and the people, the technicians were calling me, uh, keeping me off my work. So we had to find somebody else to handle those problems. And before I know it, I had seven people, uh, five, seven people again, uh, even an internship uh, person that, uh, that that helped out. And uh, the department grow later with fused with uh, the technical uh, education center for the outside engineers. So uh, the even outside engineers came to help us. So it was really, really, really nice. But that took five years, six years, and uh, yeah. And then other things happened. But uh, I was busy, and uh, of course I had to delegate also a lot of stuff. And sometimes I was busy and not busy. And when I was not busy, I could spend more time for for running. Sometimes I was running uh, or I did uh, more fitness, but I like more fitness. 
And also I saw the whole development of, of, of food and nutrition because the first years I read articles <laughs> and five, three years later, I looked at uh, the old magazine, the new magazine, same article about vitamin C or vitamin B and oh, it's opposite, <laughs> how is that possible? So the, the science is still not uh, 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 correct or uh, they don't still, and it's still, still going on. If you still look at uh, articles about food, it is, you would say that they would know exactly how the human body works, but uh, it looks like uh, they are still finding some new things or they thought that old things are not what they thought it was. And that is interesting. You would think uh, they, uh, they know uh, how it all worked, but it is still, I think the human body and the human mind is still a mystery. Uh, there is a Dutch guy who can go in the freezing, a kolk or ham kolk or something, he is the, the Iceman. Now, what he can do is also scientists are amazed by it, that he can suppress uh, uh, becoming sick and uh, other things. He controls his body, body much better. Now, I already experienced, experienced something about controlling your body pain and all this, that when you do meditation uh, for martial arts, you get in this uh, very strange state that you, you are more sensitive or you can suppress uh, your environment around you and you can concentrate or you can you go into nothing, uh, Zen meditation. So there's all kinds of things and you study and read about it. So there's a very nice thing uh, aside of all these uh, technical computer stuff that I can also focus on food. I, could, and I was cooking, uh, I was uh, focusing on, on bodybuilding and uh, exercises. I looked of course the movies with Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, Terminator, uh, Commando, uh, Al, and of course uh, Stallone. So I will, that was also nice and I saw oh the nice body of uh, how are they training and you read the stories, you read the books, you read the documentaries about bodybuilders, uh, all the uh, priests and all those uh, people, uh, Rodney, that, it is interesting and uh, it, it is something to talk about. Uh, you, I could not talk about it with the computer nerds, but I could talk with some people like in the, in the in other departments, uh, for example, uh, logistic. Uh, there was also people that did some training and I could talk with them about uh, training uh, schedules and uh, what they were doing and uh, how long they were training. And I was also training. They were first amazed because the guy who's always uh, uh, did the head of IT and a uh, nerd, computer nerd, and I looked at also at that time as a nerd. But yeah, if I remove my t-shirt, they say, okay, this guy is not a nerd. <laughs> but I was always wearing a little bit uh, uh, loosely close. Uh, so, uh, for me, I don't want to, to brag about my, how my body looked, so I was oversized, always a little bit sloppy uh, sloppy stuff. I had also the back and throw it, and I was always sitting. Uh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't. I didn't had a, a, a suit or something because I was internal busy always, and I had my own room. I had my own later my own office between the the, the CEO and the owners, so nobody uh, <laughs> nobody cared. Uh, we had managers, of course, nice and suits, and uh, they they needed something, and they came and this boy sitting, this nerd sitting, some in some office and doing the most uh, sometimes most important stuff in the company, but. I had no, I didn't have to have any contacts with, uh, with customers. Sometimes they asked me, so then I had to borrow, I had one suit or something, and then I went with nice clothes, with some, uh, and people drove me with, uh, with a car to the customer and helped there or talk with them some problems. I could solve that, of course, because I used to work for a help desk. So still the, the, the knowledge is there. I was, uh, uh, congresses uh, that I was invited. Uh, I met in around the time also Bill Gates. Uh, there was Skilled Thousand project for, uh, and I got uh, a lot of software and training for free for Microsoft so I could train the whole uh, technical center. I got all uh, training uh, vouchers for them that they can all train and uh, I think I spoke a little bit with, uh, I could greet Mr. Allen uh, with, uh, with Bill Gates and I was flabbergasted that I could meet this person. Uh, he was also a nerd, <laughs> he looked alike. <laughs> but uh, it, it was nice and uh, it, it gave me a lot of uh, uh, things to train people more in Microsoft. Uh, and uh, yeah, they were less afraid and uh, even the, the head of uh, the training, uh, he got uh, Microsoft uh, certified and uh, yeah. That was a nice experience. I got a, a management role uh, in the management team of the Netherlands for uh, service centers. Uh, I was the the, uh, the the person that we spent. Uh, we was there as the contact for the company. Uh, 
I could not do it because I was too busy. So I did some meetings that I was introduced. And after that, I asked uh, the CEO uh, to, to go uh, there. And she also understand uh, I don't have time. It was more like management talk. And I was not interested in that. And that time also, uh, I learned uh, other friends. And we started to develop really the software. And we used a kind of agile before agile was invented. So this time also, uh, this person was anti-movement, and uh, anti-movement, it means anti-sports. He was almost two meters longer than two meters, and he said, uh, sports is uh, not needed. He said, if you have a one day flying, you, you keep it uh, still. It lives longer than one day, so movement is not good. Bad thing is he died because of a blood clot, because he had too long. That was a pity, and it was one of my best friends. And it's one of the reasons why I went, why, why I had the idea to go to Japan. Uh, I could not go to Japan because of that company. So I went to an American company that had an office. And then from that office, I went to Japanese office. But the seed was sown for Japan at that uh, company and not by him, by an, uh, a guy who worked at the repair center for printers and uh, copiers. Uh, he had also done uh, martial arts. Uh, he wrote a uh, ninja bike, uh, Yamaha Ninja. Of, uh, yeah, I think that was Ninja. Uh, so, uh, and he had bl uh, sugar disease. And uh, he said he, when he was young, he wanted to go to, he was invited to go to Japan, work there. And he declined. And after he had, was, he had a girlfriend, he was had a child, he could never go to Japan. And that was his biggest mistake in his world. And I was thinking, at that time, I always was collecting anime stuff. And I think, okay, if I want to go to Japan, I must not make the same mistake as this guy did. So I have to really try. And when this uh, project, software project at the company start, uh, stopped, and the owner said, okay, he can, you cannot develop further. I got this, uh, this chance to work at this ETL uh, company. And they promised me, if I'm good enough, I can go to Japan. Now, that how I came here to bed. But fitness, I could not do uh, anymore. Uh, when I uh, went to uh, this, uh, this, this, this ETL company, I still try to. So in the weekends I trained, so I not doing but too far away. And later when I immigrated here in Japan, I, uh, I was invited by uh, karate, uh, Shokun uh, Karate. Uh, by one of the highest masters here in Japan and I did some training with his black belts and he was impressed I got the official shoot of uh, the karate shoot and he said if you, if you want to train you are welcome in our club and we're welcome on our way of uh, fighting they were impressed and I said okay <laughs> but there were so many things going wrong at the time I didn't have time and it, I didn't feel right I thought I was a little bit distra I was just the only foreigner in that group and I was like Okay, uh, it's nice, but I was honored by all the presents I got, but I think uh, this is not my place. And uh, I also tried to start uh, training again, could not do that, but so I started running and do more push-ups and more things at home. And later, uh, when I got married, and you can see uh, when I COVID hit, and then I started to really we in the, uh, do everything with fitness. I, of course, previous I did uh, sports with my wife. My wife liked to kite surfing. Was a, a sports uh, girl, and uh, I, I did a little. I, I, I'm anti-sport. <laughs> I'm not good at sports, but I'm only good at running and uh, fitness. So I continue my fitness and try to. Uh, and at the time, I was also overweight. Uh, I got 80 kilos or something. Not because of muscles, but more because of uh, I was bloated. Uh, uh, I was not good, so I started to run. I took me, I think, two years to get rid of the, all the mass. And I came back to 72 kilos, even less. And I was running every day around 10, sometimes 15 kilometers a day. That means uh, I run uh, sometimes in a week 100 kilometers here in Japan. I went uh, in Tokyo, all over Tokyo. Uh, every uh, every morning I started to run for 15 kilometers. So I went from the, middle, the upper part of Tokyo to uh, Tokyo Bay. And back again to Asakusa, Shimizukado River, I walked, I did marathons, half marathons, uh, 30 kilometers, uh, I even later walked the 100, tried to walk the 100 kilometers try time, uh, two times, uh, ended by 40 the first time, the second time I ended with 70 kilometers uh, walking, it means 24 hours, 84 hours walking, so uh, blisters, crazy, so that was the, the weak point, uh, my feet were not uh, used to walk so long. And it's hot here, so you're sweating your shoes, so you have to have uh, also that uh, I had to learn. But now I'm picking up uh, weights and uh, I, have to, uh, I cannot uh, lift the weights I previously lift, like the 120 kilos. I think I cannot li uh, uh, lift and also the machines cannot lift it. I think the maximum is around 100. The machine can do 100, but uh, the bench I have can only make, I think, maybe 70 or 70 or 70 kilos is max. 
so I keep around 70 kilos. My own weight is, is good enough. Uh, I, I just keep it with oh, my, my age. I don't want to be a bodybuilder. I just want to keep on the, 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 the form I have and a little bit more definition and a little bit more strength is good and keep the strength. And sometimes when you're older, keeping the strength, you have to train more. Uh, it's getting more difficult to keep on form, so you need more exercise. So that is perfect to keep or uh, keep what you have. You have to uh, train harder, and that is nice. So you can still go crazy with training, and it will uh, not affect uh, so much in your life. Um, the taste that I had, uh, the programming uh, rouse that I needed sugar and all those uh, crazy times, thinking continuously. Now I have it with books. I write uh, fifth. I wrote already in one year from January. I wrote 550 books. Goal is this year to write a thousand technical books. Also busy with a fictional book and a very fictional science fiction theory that can be uh, uh, tele be can become a, a television series. I hope, uh, of course, not possible. But yeah, you have to dream. So I, my brain is always working now with books and with uh, this fantasy story with an imaginary world. Uh, where we're living in, so I also have to sometimes shut it down. And then it's nice to have uh, training equipment here. COVID, uh, and I'm living in a hospital uh, somewhere that I cannot go out, and I am bound to this uh, chamber. And uh, in the countryside, I can go out and do my things. But here in Tokyo, I am bound to to this. Not only because of COVID, because but also where where this building is. Uh, so I have all my equipment here. I only uh, walk uh, the dogs and uh, then I take also my time. So in the morning I take one hour walking and in the evening one and a half hour walking. So there's two and a half hours walking a day. For the rest I'm in this uh, 100 square meter uh, apartment. But I have uh, a bed press, I have free weights, I have a rack and I have a bike. So uh, the bike is connected to Swift, so I can go kilometers, uh, hours and hours of Swift. So normally in the morning I do... Uh, a bike tour of uh, 30 minutes or sometimes an hour then i do some weight training then i do some hanging uh, for my shoulders and uh, then i uh, also walk two times so that's enough uh, and then i uh, look at uh, continuously uh, you can see behind me behind me uh, trading effects so i'm always looking at uh, the the effects uh, chart of the usd uh, i'm uh, looking at uh, stock uh, yes also tesla for my wife my wife is an investor I'm only uh, busy with uh, predicting and uh, advice. And yeah, that, that's it. And uh, uh, I'm writing books. I'm writing, I wrote software. I'm writing not software anymore. Uh, I am busy with AI. Uh, my books are uh, mainly about programming, hardware, software, uh, IT's future visions of AI systems. Uh, I don't want to start with software programming uh, for the moment because it's developing so fast. Uh, I want to have first that they determine the part, the determine the software, the determine what to do. It is going everywhere. Yeah, Google has their system, uh, uh, AMD has their own Qdo. Uh, that it is uh, gaji gaji. Uh, this, it is. I don't know if I become old. If I invest in a specific direction and I study that, and it is not the correct direction, means that the time is lost. So it is better to be more general. Then I specific go in specific things. So my goal is also be general, but dive in specific points. So transformers for AI in a specific regression, in a, uh, a positioning, mapping, all those specific things in AI, into training methods, the 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 the, the data sets, how the data sets are required, the data mining, all those things I focus in and I write books about it, but I don't practical use it because it would give me too much time to really do a hands-on and, and develop something. My wife said, why don't I program anymore? Yeah, I can do it, but it, that means that I cannot write books and it means that I cannot do YouTubes. Also, YouTube takes out more time. So that's it. And uh, yeah, people want to earn money with YouTube or with books. And now uh, I see it all as an, um, uh, for me, an expression. Uh, I want to get my footprint out of internet so that uh, if I'm gone, uh, there is still something for me on the internet. That is maybe uh, something. But I also still hope that uh, Tesla or Elon Musk comes with one of his with 
multiple companies, SpaceX and Tesla here to Japan, and I can maybe uh, get a uh, management role or sub-management role, even if it is the canteen work or the cook. It doesn't matter if I can, do jo I can work for, for Elon Musk uh, for, 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 uh, with those engineers. Uh, it would be great. Uh, I, uh, I have a very big respect for engineers because I'm self my engineers. Uh, I train them, I help them, uh, the new people. I understand the problems, the frustrations. And uh, I know exactly the frustrations they will have here in Japan. So I hope I could help them uh, to not be so frustrated when I came here. But you never know. Uh, people have also to find their own way and uh, they have to learn their own lessons. Uh, but yeah, if you are, uh, maybe I need to be even older than now, maybe 10 years later and uh, Tesla comes here. Maybe I've been uh, and wrote some books that are maybe a little bit famous or a little bit known and I have a good. Uh, image uh, on YouTube and on things. Maybe I, they offer me something to maybe SpaceX or something else that uh, they want to have my, uh, my idea about or my, they, they hire me. I would be that would be uh, my 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 dream, my last career dream step I could make. So for now I'm not busy with any work. Uh, I do this is my full time uh, time YouTube book writing, uh, taking care of the dogs, taking care of my wife, cooking, fitness, uh, helping people if I can help them in the if I'm in the countryside, I have my uh, enormous garden there, uh, making vegetables, uh, try to save money that way. Try to do some, uh, some earn some money to help around the house. My wife is the main uh, income. Uh, we are money-wise, we are okay. Vacations, everything is okay. Of course, COVID limited us, everybody. And uh, here in Japan, everything gets more uh, expensive. But the advantage is with the money I make now a little bit, I can the inflation I can a little bit catch up so I can we can still eat the same stuff that we want food here in Japan some things are really getting uh, more expensive eggs are three times the price uh, what is it uh, oil of oil went five times uh, butter stays the same some products stays the same but sometimes it will double or 20 30 percent up now I earn luckily a little bit money with all my uh, books and that uh, is exactly nice to balance it out so uh, also for the for the, uh, for, the, uh, for the cat and the dogs, uh, I make also a little bit uh, money more and now I can give them more luxurious food and I take more care of them. But they have the hospital bills, so that is too much because <laughs> it's also we have, it has to be paid, but that's my wife and uh, that's her responsibility, not uh, that's our responsibility. So, yeah, so that's how I want to end. I hope people uh, will look at uh, this channel and um, uh, I hope. Uh, I helped them in uh, why I did fitness, what is the beginning and why did I do all this training. So it has to do with, 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 with decompressing from work. That is uh, the best, uh, best understanding. And it was not about becoming an Arnold Schwarzenegger or to attract females or attract men or whatever. It was pure to, to get this, 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 this brain of mine stop thinking and it was a replacement for meditation. So as, uh, uh, so as uh, Elon Musk said that he cannot stop thinking. It is for him impossible. And even what I also had, I only slept two or three hours a day. That means 20, 30, 20, 21 hours a day, your brain is thinking about your work, computers and all the problems you have to solve. Now, it drives you crazy after two years. So I found luckily the, the fitness training or the, the, the new hobby. So I could switch off this uh, this thinking machine that I normally had during work and I found a rhythm that I could switch it off and I could switch it on. So when I work, walked to work, after I had lunch, that I was, everything was cool and then shik, I have to go work. Okay, what was in my note yesterday? And I start the, the brain up in the, in the programming in, in my career mode. And after the career mode, I walked to my fitness center, to, to the fitness center and I could switch that, that career mode uh, for my brain. I can switch it off. And it went in the relax mode or the training mode, and after that it went to the home my gaming mode. So I had three brains or four brains. I had the pleasure brain that I could go with friends. I had my gaming or online uh, thing. I got my fitness brain, and I get my work professional brain. So maybe AI, huh? three multiple personalities. <laughs> maybe uh, in a uh, real AI, that maybe it also has multiple personalities. Maybe you have to see that like that. But I think also people will need to have multiple, like not you, multiple personalities, totally different, but you have to have different ways of, 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 of modes to work. Huh? So if you, for example, work, you 
act and do different than you are at home. And if you do like a sport or your hobby, you have other people, other friends, and you act differently. So this has to, you have to really realize that. And if you can use that, for example, to relax better, or so if you want to have stress with something uh, at work, you go in your, you go away and you switch that off. You think about it and you go to your other mode and do that thing, your hobby or your, your fitness or you go running or you make a new hobby and try to find their relaxation. So this is not more, uh, not about what kind of weight you want to drink or what you have to eat or what you have to drink. This is the pure, the mentality of fitness. And the nice thing is, is if you gain, if you look, uh, if you, 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 you write, you have also the tip is you write your goals sometimes in a mirror. If you want to gain more shoulders or you want a specific muscle or your legs or something like else, you write it down. And if you, for example, you want to improve your stomach, show, look at your stomach every day. Uh, if you train, look at the things you are bad if you want to improve. So you have confronted. Ah, it is still not good that my my, my bicep is this is too, this is too this is too uh, better. So you you have to frustrate that, and then you you look at it and you do something against it, and you see it getting better, 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 and you get more enthusiastic, and you, it, it drives you better. So that is also what Arnold Schwarzenegger said: uh, focus on things, realize, uh, work on it, and see the improvement. Works until you see the improvement, and keep on going until you reach your goal. Uh, there's also with other things with computers you get your, your your goal what you have to accomplish this software has to run in this and this condition and you work until that works and if it doesn't work you doesn't matter how it has to work and it's the same with, with fitness if you want to lift 100 kilos you find friends people whatever until you lift that 100 kilo uh, it is possible other people can do it why can you not do it because you have still a mental block or something is that is holding you back. So you need an help or you have to convince yourself that you are capable to do it. And this is not only with work, with computer programming or something, or you have a problem with your book, uh, why can I not get it to work? Until you find out that you are the first. And even if you are the first, sometimes you invent the solution. Uh, often uh, I run against a problem. I thought other people have to solve this and I found out nobody solved it. I think, oh my God, now I have to, and then I invent it. So go Perfect. But if you have this determination, you can do it. And this is, you can do it, a mental theater, like invented <laughs> that you also use in sport and in other hobbies. Even when I was looking at stars, I wanted to make the pictures of uh, Comet Haley. I went out with the friends, we got the stuff in the car, we rented the car, we put the tripod there and stayed there and then we were frozen. But I got my pictures, I got my uh, big uh, negative pictures from Comet Haley and I could later always saw, hey, I made that picture, I got it. Go for it. Go for things that are maybe f more than you expect. Uh, I met uh, Kenny Dolphin, a famous saxophone player, became friends with her. Unbelievable, but I did it. <laughs> I tried, okay, I failed to, uh, to, to, to connect with Arnold Schwarzenegger, but I, for example, I met uh, Bill Gates. Uh, I met uh, the, the, the godfather, the, the, the maker of the first databases here in Japan. I meet sometimes very uh, rare persons. I met from a very famous uh, uh, group here in Japan. It was a member that uh, split off and became a bike racer. And strange enough, uh, I could know somebody uh, whose father was a bike racer and he was racing that day. And I met him, <laughs> one of the few people that met him and uh, he introduced me to him. It was an amazing day. And sometimes, sometimes you 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 you, met, you, you meet amazing uh, people. Uh, so there's also that I met my amazing wife. I must say I, I met my amazing dogs, uh, cat. Cat we found under a tree, and the dog found it. So it's an amazing experience. If you tell it, it is like a, a book story. But that is the whole life. You have to see it. You have to take it in. You have to take it in as a story. Relax. Uh, be yourself and see the goal. Uh, if you want to, uh, you're fat, you're overweight, see yourself already that you're on weight and try to get that goal. Look yourself in the mirror. Do I want to be this in two years? At least get me some less weight or get me skin a little bit better. And keep on going. There was the only one with, when I want to go to Japan, the only one that was supporting me to go to Japan was myself. All other people said I was crazy. Don't do it. It's a big risk. You have to convince first yourself, and it has to do with programming. It has to do if you're running against a problem, nobody can help you. You have to solve it. And also with fitness, 
Uh, if you want to 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 do a, that, uh, you want to push that uh, last five kilo up to that bar, you have to lift that bar, not somebody else. And that is like the mentality, this really hard mentality of uh, of, of pushing yourself through. I learned from from Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, and, and that you always you learn with lifting weights. Uh, you think I cannot lift 50 kilos with one hand. Not possible. And you, you, when you're starting for with, with, with fitness, of the, you cannot even get you cannot even get it out of the rack. You have to <laughs> if you left it full, you, you cannot get it back. Muri, impossible. Four years later, you can lift it with one hand <laughs> because you go for it. Uh, you, your whole body changed to only lift at 50 kilos. Yeah, and when you this is possible. I can never do that. And you can do it. You see these big guys. That are two times to your 120 kilos look like a like a giant, like somebody uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. They are lifting a 100 kilo bench pressing. You go there, you, <laughs> you use the same weight, which is with your smaller body, but you trained hard and you know you can do it. You lift the same 100 kilos. The guys look amazed to you. Wow, you can do it! You can do it, boy! Yeah, yeah, go for it! We are spot here. So, and you are accepted in the in in the, those those circles of those guys. They respect. They didn't expect somebody looking like this to have this kind of strength. Okay, here's our guy. And next time, if they are alone or with a smaller group, they ask, hey, "Can you spot us? Come on, spot. Come here. Come here. Spot us here. I have a nice drink. Huh? And uh, we pay your 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 shake. And uh, if you spot us, and you get uh, uh, friends you never uh, could think you could have. And that is that is life. Huh? Sometimes you have to go for it. Uh, you have to visualize sometimes your your goals. Especially with sports and especially with, 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 with this fitness stuff and weight training, you have to visualize stuff and use that technique that you learn in that totally different world in sports. Learn it also, use it also with programming. Yeah, you, you have a program, you have uh, you split it up in functions, and you, uh, you think, oh, yeah, this function I can never put. Use the, the body, you can do it, you can do it, boy. You just focus on it and go for it. Program those hours. So I program for hours and hours, ask people, uh, help me, uh, spot me with uh, when I'm programming, do I make a mistake somewhere? Yeah, you make a mistake there, okay. And before you know it, you solve it and it's running. And you have the, the software running and the, and nobody <laughs> yeah, nobody sees it because the software is exactly, the new version is exactly the same without bugs as the old version, but it's running on a much better, faster way, but nobody sees that. You spent two years crazy working eh, for the millennium. I worked like two, three years crazy to get the software in a newer version. It was faster, better, but it looked exactly the same. So people saw the update after two years. Nothing has changed. It is exactly the same. I said, that was exactly the goal of two years work because it looks the same, but it is not the same. And they saw what happened and they were amazed and a lot of other people and companies were amazed that somebody could make this transition so so good without almost no bugs. I found two bugs later, one, one two year, 2001 and 2003, we found a bug, a financial and ordering system, but that was small, it was a date, uh, two positions instead of four positions, uh, because of 2019, uh, 19 and 2000, but we did it. So, uh, mentality for fitness, uh, you, you can use it for programming. Uh, if you have a fantastic mentality with programming that you can uh, get everything to work, something, use that for fitness. It is interchangeable and sometimes it is uh, very nice to use a method, but I use the method sometimes for fitness in my programming. <laughs> it is unbelievable, but you can do that. Uh, you can combine things. You motivate yourself uh, as you motivate yourself to to lift an, an enormous weight. You can mot you can also motivate you to solve a software problem which you think and other people think is not possible to solve. You cannot do that in ah, it takes too long. And you can do it. You can do it in a week or in a in a few hours of programming. So that's where I want to end. This is my uh, mental uh, way of, uh, of fitness and what it had an effect on me. Uh, in, in my career, and I hope uh, people have a joint with. Maybe later I can talk about uh, especially running because I did a run a lot and a lot of kilometers, and maybe give you some tips about how to walk, how to run, how to place your feet. Why it is important. I learned that because of karate uh, that you have to place always your feet that somebody cannot break them, and that is I, oh, that is the way I run. I run very nice, and I really control my feet, how I place them, and how I push myself off. And uh, we can talk about maybe in the next video about uh, running and how to walk and what I learned that and what the advantages and disadvantages are. See you.